YouTubers. Yeah, it's Nelson again with Unita and Apple Farms. So it's been a little while since we actually made a video. Um, it's yeah, it's been a little while. So we just wanted to catch up with you guys and show what we have been doing recently. We've been designing systems, both aquaponics and hydroponic systems. This one specifically is actually for uh, school. It's a, a demo uh, system to show what hydroponics is. Uh, it's one of its kind, actually, what you're seeing in front of you, it's a base, right? Uh, so we wanted to make something that would be flexible. The idea started with thinking like, okay, so what if a restaurant wants a system that can be detachable, but also being able to have it grow in their restaurant, right? Because if you have the base with the water, this is the heaviest part of the system. So my thought was, create a system that can be drained fully, and leave the base and just bring a new canopy. For instance, this is an example of one of the canopy like that I'm talking about. So it's a pyramid. This is what goes on top of that. Not, uh, not on this specific base, this has a different base. This is for a different system, this is a completely different system. This one specifically is for Sac City. Uh, so we'll take the base, the, the top, put on the base, right? We have, let's say, 100 of these tops in the greenhouse. A restaurant's consume all these in maybe a week. Maybe you have basil, you have mint, you have oregano, and they call us and say, hey Nelson, I need another top for my baby. So I'm just taking this top, put it on there, and leave. So I will show you what 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 we have on this system first. So back here, um, if you can come over here, Bob. So back here we have these quick uh, quick joints, pretty much quick valves. Uh, we, we just, uh, make sure that when we bring in the top, we can just only, we only screw it two times, right? And these are just hand tights. So once we tie this part and this part, we can take the, the top out. It drains completely without flooding. And then here we have a level that shows uh, how much water you have in your bed without actually taking the top out, right? And and uh, the second, the th second uh, also screw on, is for the pump so this is the pump this is the level this is the first drain this is the second drain this is the uh, half drain this is the full drain right and i'll show you uh, on that when we go to the system so i'll show you guys the top of this system which is right here so you cannot you can see you have eight layers right eight layers and you have drain for each one of them let's say you have a problem here with a plant or you don't want to for any reason you don't want to grow on this level, you can continue growing on the rest of the level without this interfering anything. Let's say this part here clogged. Instead of having the whole system flood, you can just lock this one or drain it, pouring it all the way to the bottom, and then skip it while other systems are still working. So everything is independent. So these are the pieces that go in the back of the base that I show you. And literally, we just pick up the whole thing. And it's super lightweight, uh, so two people can pick it up, but for this school, but just for safety reasons, for the school, we recommend four people. We have four handles on either side. You just pick it up and drop it down. So ultimately, we need to uh, implement and incorporate technology into this. I want this whole thing to be monitored remotely. Um, I want, I have, I'm working on Arduino with other developers and I'm looking for other developers to join this project where we can sit together and have Arduinos integrated in this system. Uh, measure water parameters, uh, temperature, um, pH, everything being remote sensing and also have an access of the restaurant pressing a button to notify us when they need a new canopy to be delivered. So it's a proof of concept. Um, it's working right now, and this is the first one we're delivering at Sac City. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to visit there and look at the system and give us a call. We'll have our number here on the base and the link below this video uh, to our contact information. So this is our number and this is our logo, uh, Unit and Aqua Farms. So this is actually the third one we're building. We have order of six so far. Uh, this is for Sac City, this is for Woodland, and I would like to extend my great thank you to Carrie Peterson. She is being an excellent uh, person to work with. 
on these projects for schools, especially in North California. Um, we, we are really, we are really looking forward to continue uh, relationship with her and creating more systems for more schools. So keep, uh, keep, stay tuned, and please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I will create a few more prototypes for kits that I'm working on, and I should have those in the next three weeks. I want to be more active. And in the meantime, I, we also want to help, guys. We need, we are thinking about revamping our channel and creating a new name. So if you have suggestions, please post below this video. Tell me any names, ideas that might catch our eye, and whoever wins will actually get one of the kits, a proponent kit. Very small system, but at least you'll get it for free if we pick your name. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that, and stay tuned.